The year is 1967, Coochie, Vietnam. Cut deep in the earth is a sleeping chamber, large enough for one still body. This chamber is connected to a tunnel, which connects to another. For miles, the tunnels are carved at various depths, some leading to storage rooms concealing food or weapons, some to medical or cooking areas, some to dead ends, and some to trap doors leading out. The tunnels are narrow to Phuong, a 15-year-old girl, but she is accustomed to life underground. She lies awake. The air is thin and hotter than body temperature. The darkness is blinding. The flight of a bat pricks and echoes. Mother Earth, inside your body I rest. If only you had arms to hold me. The American calendar calls today November 11th, 1997. Last night I went to the Sony Lincoln Square Movie Theater in New York City. My first night at the movies in America. I waited on the corner outside the theater for my friend, Tom Tomlin. The sun was going down and the clouds raced home. Teenagers leaned against the building. Very dramatic conversations ensued. An adult joined the boy and girl closest to me. The adult asked how their test went. The girl said it was hard and about precedence. The boy said it was ridiculous to have to memorize such trivia. The adult asked a question about Jimmy Carter. The boy asked who that was. The adult said that he was president before Bush, who was before Clinton. Before he was president, he grew peanuts, and now he studies human rights. The boy said, I'm for animal rights. The girl said they only did the first 20 presidents. The adult asked if they knew which president had been assassinated in her lifetime. The boy and the girl did not know and began to fall down for fun. The adult said, I'll give you a hint. Give us a hint, they both said and laughed. He knew Marilyn Monroe. The girl snapped her fingers and rubbed her hands up and down on her thighs. She said, I know, I know, I know. That guy who fucked all the women in the White House pool. Kennedy. Kimberly, language. The boy and the girl laughed, and their hands covered their mouths, and their eyes were moist with excitement. They wiped the thrill from their faces. The girl apologized to the adult for her language. The adult looked at me. The boy asked, did Kennedy drown? I kept looking at the adult, waiting for her to answer the boy. The boy asked twice, did he? Did he, did he drown? Tom arrived, and we rushed to our seats. Before the feature started, many film clips from old movies welcomed the audience and requested politeness. One of the clips showed Bob Hope. On each day of my visit, the present touches the past. Kennedy and Hope in five minutes' time. Mr. Hope came to Coochie to the American base camp on Christmas Day, 1966. He came to boost morale in the 25th Infantry Division. We saw many coming attractions, all of them for invasion fantasies, and then one for flubber, a fish fantasy. During the previews, I kept thinking about the day Mr. Hope came, the day I became a soldier. The Americans built their base over the heart of our tr tunnel system in an area called Parrot Troopers Field. Thousands of GIs were sitting in the sun, sitting on top of our underground world, waiting for Bob Hope. I left the American camp after visiting my uncle, who worked as a barber for the Americans and a spy for us. Not far from the camp, within artillery range, I meant to enter a tunnel leading to a small underground theater. The theater was some distance from the tunnel entrance, but I knew the route. I was eager to attend the performance. Eagerness is out of place during war. Perhaps my carelessness came from the Christmas mood amongst the GIs and the beauty of the sun. I do not know. I do not know when the soldier began to follow me. I dropped into the tunnel and moved 26 steps straight ahead to the first curve. The enemy followed. Along the ceiling surface for those steps were 17 traps. Should the enemy's head bump the bamboo and release a viper snake, death would take him in a breath. The viper vi bites the face and neck repeatedly, the way a lover's mouth cannot stop. The poison blood gets to the heart between beats. <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you. Thank you, everyone. It's so wonderful to be here. <laughs>